each number too. Now his alphabet is a little bit different. It's All right, let's go ahead and practice a couple of things. All right, so I have, let's practice before and after numbers. So I have the number 19. If I'm counting by ones, what number comes right before we say 19? 18. 18. 18. And what number comes after we say 19? 20. 20. Next, I have 74. What number comes before we say 74? Three. 73. 73. And what number comes right after we say 74? Okay, Avaya? 75. 75. All right, 38. What number comes before 38? 37. And what co number comes after 37? I'm sorry, after 38? 39. Good. All right. All right. So let's review building facts, family. So if you remember, sometimes we will get three numbers. And from the three numbers, we would have to make two addition facts and two subtraction facts. Those will be considered a fact family because they would all be the same. Uh, all three numbers will be in every single fact. Remember, we cannot get any number that is not one of these. So I have A, 14, and 6. So when we start in addition fact, right? We always are going to be adding to the what now? Which number? The highest. The biggest. So out of 8, 14, and 6, 14 is our biggest. So we know that we are adding to 14. So what would be our fact that equals to 14? What would be the fact? 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 equals 14. What would be the other addition fact I would build with these three numbers? 8 plus 6. A plus six equals 14. Good. I can't pull any other numbers and say like nine plus five. No, that's not the numbers I had. I've only, I only have eight, 14, and six. So therefore I can only use those three numbers. So we add to our biggest number, but when we start subtracting, which number do we start subtracting with? 14. The largest number, 14. What will be a subtraction fact here? Dennis? Six, fourteen minus eight equals six. Fourteen minus eight equals six. What would be another subtraction fact I could build with fourteen? Fourteen minus equals. Okay, good. Awesome. I know this one. All right, next I have 10, 4, and 6. I want to do two addition and two subtraction facts. 10, 4, and 6. Two addition, two subtraction. What you got? Yeah. What's one addition fact with 10, 4, and 6? We have to, no, 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 listen. So which number are we adding to? What's our biggest number? 10. So we have to add to 10. What two numbers are we going to use to add to 10? Six. Plus. Plus. No, we're adding to 10. So 6 plus 4, four equals 10. What's the other addition fact I can make with 6 and 4 and 10? What's another one? 4 plus 6, four plus six equals 10. Okay, nice. okay, let's do some subtraction. We start with our biggest number to subtract. Give me a subtraction fact. You don't have to count because the answers are there. So which number do we start subtracting with? What's your biggest number? So we start subtracting with 10 minus which one? Anyone, just pick one. Four. Well, equal what? It has to equal six. That's the only numbers we have. What's our next subtraction fact? 10 minus 6 equals 4. Good. So these are facts families. All right. So get a little sleep paper out. I want, I'm going to put some facts and I want you to build a family. 
Remember, always have a list of paper ready, guys, because why? We probably will be using it, at least in one of our subjects. I got it. Okay. Uh, just a paper. It, it can be on me. I still kept track of All right, so 11, 6, and 5. I want you to make me two addition and two subtraction facts. 11, 6, and 5. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. 11, 6, and 5. Okay. Now I'm not going to be all right so 11 6 and 5 two addition two subtraction Bye, Miss Lucas. Bye. You look at all my feet. You got my This is one. Four in the total. I'm just going to take one. No, I'm going to take one. Shh. Okay. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, I don't know. Do you have to skip lines, right? No, I don't. No. Don't have to. So, what the? What the? Wait, my food said we're not going to say the word. That's not a bad idea. Wait, no. She did not say it. She did not say it. Did you say so? What in the bag of the book when it's not? You're not going to hear it. You can't say it. You can't hear it. All right, so let's hear. So, 11, 6, and 5. Give me an addition fact. Okay, Dennis, what you have? Addition fact. Five plus six equals 11. Five. Good. Five plus six equals 11. What's another one I can make with five? You know, facts. What's another one? Six plus five equals 11. Plus five equals eleven. All right, let's do some subtraction facts. Oh, I got a good one. Eleven, 11 minus six. I can do five. Yeah, you know, eleven minus six equals five. Eleven minus five equals eleven. What's another one? Eleven minus five equals eleven. What's another one? Okay, so that's what we'll see on the quiz Thursday, guys. Do some activities, and we'll practice tomorrow. All right, moving on. All right, so we've also talked about what's called comparison symbols. Comparison symbols are used to compare numbers, right? Remember, we have three symbols. We have the less than, which faces the left, L, less than. We have the greater than, which faces the right. And we have equal, which are the two lines to show that it's an equal um, 
an equal symbol. So we have nine. Is nine less than, greater than, or equal to four? So remember, we have to read it from left to right. I can't read it backwards like this way. I have to read it from left to right. So is nine less than, greater than, or equal to four? What would it be, Carson? Greater. It is greater. So I put this greater symbol to show that nine is greater than four. Next one, 63. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to 71? 63, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 71? Less than. Less than. 63 is smaller, so I'll put the less than symbol. And last one, 10, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 10? 10, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 10? Equal. Anytime it's the same exact number, it's going to be equal because it's the same number. No, no, one, no, no number is bigger than the other, okay? All right, so these are your comparison symbols, less than, greater than, and equal to. They're used to compare two numbers to one another, okay? So that's it for math. That's all I wanted to go over today were those two things, back families, comparison symbols, and before and after numbers, okay? Let's go ahead and move on to uh, phonics. All right, so we'll start with going over some charts. Let's do uh, 12 and 13 today. No, I'm sorry, 8, 9, and 13, because yesterday we did 6 and 7. Yeah, 8, 9, and 13. Okay, so 8, 9, 13. I can hear you. Yeah, it's only me.
All right, so today we're going to do sound ERR off of chart 13. Okay, let's look at it here. So ERR says air, like in cherry. What is it? Okay, so we have ERR, air, and Y that says E. What's the word? Mary. Mary. And this is not Mary like you marry Mary. someone, like you get married, Mary. but this is Mary like you're happy. Next one we have E R R Air and Y that says E. What's the word? Mary. Mary, like a strawberry, raspberry, blackberry. Next one, E R R says Air. Y says E. What's the word? Terry. It's a man's name. Or it could be a woman. Kayla's mom is named that. Terry. W R. W R. Okay. What's the other sound? S T. Good. What's the word? Wrist. Wrist. Like your wrist. Okay. Next one. Avaya sounds. P. Not P. Oh no, C. Oh, uh, not in this one. Remember, the C has to be by an E, I, or Y for it to be a special sound. Oh. Okay, F, U, L. F, U, L, full. What's the word? Cup, cup full. Cup cup. full. Next one, Joshua sound. Oh. Huh? S, H. H, and... Push. And you, yes, you that says uh, the word is push. push. All right. What time I wash on the floor? Okay, go ahead. Get ready for your word. You another order, so no, which word you going to do? I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew you were going to print off. Mine, good, and also that goes, oh, says, um, okay, come on, stop it. All right, next one. Oh, cool. Let me get out the camera. Get out of <laughs> That's when y'all both trying to see us over in the camera. <laughs> so, so. All right, what's the word? Chore. Okay, next one. You are here with the word? Here. 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 Okay, next one. Kinley. What's the word? Wrong. Wrong. Okay, wrong. next one, Taylor. The wrong thing. Oh. Elephant. Elephant. Okay. Elephant, back to you, Dennis. Sound. What? Oh, oh, until it's your turn. You, you that says uh, what's the word? Pull. 
pull. Good. Next on the bio sounds. Help. Um. Full. F U L. Full. Good. And the word is what? Helpful. Helpful. Okay. Next one, Joshua. Unmute. Uh, circle the eight or A R E air. Air. What's the word? I can't see because my screen is a little bit blurry. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, what's the word? Blue? Beware. Beware. And Araya, last one. Thank you. Well, figure it out. You're going to third grade. Yeah. You just have to press down and you need to throw it away after that because it's trash. Was the word? More. More. You throw it. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and add some suffixes. Faith, first one, run. Let's turn it into running. Make sure you follow that rule that makes run running. Pay attention to the rule. All right, so the lesson is here. Girl, that was a work either? Oh, I don't know. Maybe get the one on the end. I don't know why they didn't work. They throw it away. She got throw it. Throw it and get a new one. Yeah, um, the one that needs to be throw it. Yeah, make sure you throw it right. Throw it that is right. Oh, God. Um, please. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm. Okay, run turns into running. Make sure you follow the rule. Capital. Oh. That would work. Perfect. Thank you. Wait, Mom. Carpet with this. Is this pretty How did you do that? That was the rule. Double. 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 Running. Next one, I have wave. Let's turn it into wave. Carson. Make sure you follow the rule. Wave becomes wave. Okay, okay. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit. Yeah, he said bit Okay, what's the rule? Uh-uh. You did do it, but you, you did. You got to take off the what? Yeah, take off the E so you don't double the D. You just take off the E. Good. Okay, yeah, did it. All right, next we have sharp. Let's turn it into sharpen. Let's see if there's a rule here. Kenley? Here comes the mark. I don't know about that. Wait, is there a sharp vowel in there somewhere? Hmm? Is there a sharp vowel in sharp? Do you hear a sharp vowel? Not. No, that's a special sound. So, do we do anything? Mm -mm. We just add E N to take away the double P and just add E N. That one has no uh rule applied. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, I want to have some. I can't even hold it. I can't even hold it. Wait, that's not nice. Mm -hmm. I can't read it. Either. Go, that's not nice. That is not that is Miss not Miss Coaches, was that nice? Well, they said he can't even read it. Come, 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 come. Okay, how about that? I can't even read it. Well, yeah, because I need an eye. You don't need it. Um, I don't need a constant. It's constant. Don't you even try to march that? Because my mom's going to do that. Okay, lazy. Hold up. What's the rule? Look at that Y. What do we do to the Y? We have to out. And for what? Okay. <laughs> Um, and then Abby are no, you just told me to take off the Y. Oh, you girl, take off the Y and add. I can't, I can't what is it? Oh, babe, I don't know if it's not. I'm trying to say, it looks like a Y. Yeah, it looks like a Y. Take off the Y. What did oh. you tell me? You said take off the Y and put what? So put I. I, I, and then add ER. And add ER, so it's suffix ER. And I heard that mark is weak. <laughs> I heard Not so much. All right, so lazier, good. All right. Thank you. Okay, good. So let's do a quick part review real quick. Uh, we'll just, just do a review. Yeah. The game is going to be on again. No in the hands. So. All right. F-U-L says full, 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 and beautiful. All right. This is if someone serves others a lot, that means they are very A-R-E says air, 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 and care. Um, whenever you Okay, whenever you have two numbers that you want to see if it's less than, greater than, or equal to, you would compare. Compare them. Compare T-A-I-N says ton, 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 and mountain. All right, this is the leader of a team. He's the captain. Captain. Okay, T U R E says chur, 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 and pasture. All right, this is sometimes people could hurt their bones, they won't break it, but this is another form of like injuring the bone. Fracture, you can fracture it. Yeah, I like it. T I O N says shun, 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 and nation. All right, God created everything, and everything that He created is called. Creation. Creation. I guess I'm the only one. Okay. W-A-R says war, 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 in warm. Okay, this is what people win when they achieve things. Uh, oh, oh, war. We are. Oh, war. E-I-G-H says A-A-A-N-H. Okay, this helps you to check your weight. I mean, this is what you do to want to check if you want to check your weight. You weigh, weigh yourself. Good. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, language. So go, go ahead and find your pronouns from yesterday. Remember, you did your pronouns yesterday. This one, two, and three. We'll add four and five to it today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's no puzzles until y'all learn how to get it together. No what? No puzzles. It's gonna be work, work, work until y'all learn. Y'all learn how to third grade, okay? So I shouldn't have to keep telling you. Got it,
So that way you can go to third grade doing those things. But we need to get it together now. Mine, please. No, it's not. Wait, where is my pencil? You got my pencil. Uh, no, Give me my pencil. Oh. Give me my pencil. Okay. If you wonder what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a cable from my mom's car. I've been holding it. Me and my mom be yelling. My dad be like you. Mm -hmm. All right, so remember we're talking about pronouns this week. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word used in the place of a noun. So with pronouns, we take out the noun and we replace it with a pronoun. So we know there's so many nouns. We have there are a ton of nouns. But when it comes to pronouns, there are only specific pronouns we can use. And yesterday we talked about some of them and today we'll finish the rest, okay? We'll finish it. All right, so let's start with list one. So remember, we don't call ourselves by our name, right? We take away our name and we use certain pronouns to replace our name. So instead of calling ourselves our name, we say, I, me, my, or mine. That was list one. List two deals with names of people. We don't always have to say someone's name when we are speaking to them. We can say, he, she, him, her, kid, hers. And then list three deals with things like dogs, like objects, like a marker, a couch. We say it is. All right, list four. All right, so list four talks about you and someone. When you and someone are together. Oh. Okay, list four. You and someone are together. Can I go shop with my pencil? Sure. No, our, ours. Like, that's for us. Uh, like, that's you. I don't know. Say if this eraser is ours. Me and him. Yeah. No, me and the right. No, I don't know if y'all wrote this. Ours. Oh, I have this four. Wait, what is this for? You didn't put it down. I, I put this four right now. Same. 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 Okay. All right, so you and someone. So if I would say, mom and I went to the store. Instead of saying mom and I, what could I say instead of saying mom and I? I could say, we went to the store. So when, now guys, remember, this has to be you and someone together. If you're not in it, you can't say this. I can't say mom and dad and then say we no that's somebody else but if you see mom and i you are the i so we okay if i would say that basket is for mom and i instead of saying mom and i i could say that basket is for okay instead of saying that is mom and i's car I could say that is our, our, our car. And another way to say it is that that car is mom and I, that car is our. ours. Good. So whenever you are with someone, it's you and someone together, or it is more than just one person. You would say we, us, our, ours. We, us, our, ours. We, us, our, ours. Why is it? 
Wait, it's not that five in the first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you said. You know, you get to get four points for this, and then you get two for two 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 today. Oh, let me get this four. Don't have to make this. I got this four already. I mean, I already have this five. I have this five. Two. I have this five. I know that. This five. I wrote this five already. Okay, I'm already done with this five. I already got four. Wow, 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 card. That's a hard. Okay, let's go to list five. I got list five. I'm not ready yet. That's okay, it's still up. List five. This is for a group of people. Now, you are not included in this. This is someone separate from you, people separate from you. Okay, so remember, you are not in this group. Okay, if you're in it, you would say we, us, our, ours. But this is for a group of people that you are not included in. Okay, so instead of me saying Tom, Ben, and Keith went skating, I would say they went skating. Instead of saying those skates are for Tom, I don't remember the names. Tom, Ben, and Keith, I would say those skates are for Damn. them. Another way to say that is that those are Ben, Tom, and Keith skates. Instead of saying yeah. Tom, Ben, I would say the, the those are their skates. And then the other one would be those skates are theirs. There's another way to say it. So those four are ways when we're describing people that are not us, okay? A group of people, so it has to be more than one. If it's only one person, we would say he, she, him, her, hers. But when it's more than one person, a group of people, we say they, them, their, theirs, okay? So get all five lists written down. If you lost it from yesterday, you may wanna write them down because tomorrow we'll practice sentences with them and your test is on Thursday. This is really just a refresher. We learned pronouns already. I think we went over it twice already this week. Thursday, I said? Well, I kind of like what we say. You just replace the noun with the pronoun. Okay, but make sure you have it all, though. You don't want to, like, not have it. Okay. Yeah, while you were saying it, I was right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe not. No, you would not see right. Yep. Yep. Are you? Yep. What is more? I mean, right now. Oh, uh -huh. oh, I'm in the way. No, I mean, could you pull the camera up a little bit closer to you and someone? Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to get the glare out. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. No, if you feel like it's green, 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 Oh. And so you need to tear out your paper to put it in your binder. But they have to get on the practice. That's how I need to see. Amen. Y'all stop talking like babies. I need one. Y'all being so good. 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 Y'all being so good.
Not your book sack, binder. Different. All right, so let's go ahead and get out your social studies and we'll be done. Wait, what? our last lesson in social studies this week. So that's another book complete after this week. Uh, let's go to page 100. Page 100. I think it's my phone out. Yeah, page 100. All right, let's go to 100. I'm going to look at something new, but I forgot what it's name. No, that's good, but I need you to get the weights down. There's no way you yeah. finish this, Evan, and it's all correct. You are finishing way too fast. Mm -hmm. You need to slow down. Your handwriting is not neat when you're rushing. It's not always accurate when you rush. Uh, she said this thing. Oh. I didn't actually see it. I did. You need to go do your homework. See, you didn't even close it all the way because you've been hurrying to rush to put it out. We'll take you. We are going to work in third grade. Um, is it? Wait, in third grade, it's harder? Well, in third grade, you have to be more organized and more detailed. Third grade is cool. Maybe third grade. Cool. You're prepared and not work rushing work. through it. All right, so we're going to visit our last continent, but before we get to that continent, we have one more place to visit, visit in Asia. So remember, we've been in Asia the last couple of weeks. We went to India and China last week, and um, oh yeah, that's it. went to India and China and Israel also the week before. So now we're going to go to a continent that is it's still in Asia. It's just off to the side, okay? And I'm okay. sure you've heard of this country before, Japan. Okay. Okay, so here's Japan right here. So this is all of Asia, and Japan is right here. So Japan is an island. Remember, an island is a land, is land that is surrounded by what? Water. So when it's completely surrounded by water, it is called an island. And so Japan is an island. So the people from Japan are called the Japanese people. They also speak Japanese as well. Okay, so this is Japan again right here. All right, let's talk about Japan. So Could you show us some pictures? This is the world is Japan. Japan is made up of many islands, and these islands are very mountainous, okay? So Tokyo, have you heard of Tokyo before? Tokyo, yeah, Tokyo. Japan. So, well, Tokyo is one of the largest cities in the world, and it's actually Japan capital city. So Tokyo is a very large city, and if you look at the picture here, you can kind of see that. We're going to talk about what that is. You can kind of see that there, okay? So um, Japan, because it's made on many mountains, it is known for having a ton of earthquakes. A lot of earthquakes happen in Japan, and an earthquake is when the ground the plates are shifting in the ground and it causes the ground to shake things to move so japan actually has a lot of earthquakes often so that's kind of it can be dangerous you know whenever one hit mm -hmm. yeah but that's not the page i'm on okay so the japanese people grow many things and, and rice is one of them so just like when we went to china last week a lot of their dishes are surrounded with rice 
Japan is the same and their foods are similar. They're really similar. That's why most people say we're eating Chinese, but it's they're similar to one another, but there are differences in you know, some of the things that they eat. But both of them, both in China and Japan, they use a lot of rice to cook their foods, okay? So the farmers will flood their rice fields with water and raw, rice has to have a lot of wet fields to grow well. So a Japanese custom, so some things, extra things about Japan is that people take off their shoes at the door of the house. A lot of times they don't walk around the house with their shoes on. That's like a custom in Japan. Like their outside shoes that they may go to work with, to school with, they take them off when they get home and they put on specific house shoes, right? Anybody does that like naturally? I, I, I do that at my home. I don't walk around with house shoes. So yeah, some people do that. They don't go like in their bedrooms with um like they don't walk around their house with their regular shoes. They have like so they'll take their they either walk around with no shoes or some people like in America most of us have like house slippers we call them. Yeah, I call them house. Yeah. And they'll wear slippers too. Okay? So sushi, if you heard of sushi, that is what we get from Japan. Sushi is a Japanese dish. That is something that you get from Japan. So um, like I said, they use that sushi. They will use the rice in their sushi. If you've had sushi before, that's from Japan. Okay. They also use chopsticks, just like they use chopsticks in China. They use chopsticks in Japan. A kimono. Those are, oh, oh, that's one of their famous, and I'll show you pictures tomorrow. Sorry, I'm like, that's one of their, um, pieces of clothing that they wear in Japan, a kimono, okay? And so you heard of koi fish before? They're, they usually, you'll see them at zoos, usually like they'd be oh, in yeah. ponds, koi, they're like these big bright orange fish. Oh, well, that's yeah. fish that are from Japan, they're Japanese fish, koi, okay? They have a lot of beautiful gardens in Japan. A lot of the people, they don't sit like on chairs, they'll sit on like pillows on the floor, when they eat like that's Weird. how they dine that's how they have supper okay Wait, that's what I um, okay so mount fuji is one of the most beautiful mountains in the world and there's snow on it year round and you can climb that mountain as well now it's not as tall as mount everest in china but mount fuji is also a high mountain and it's in japan as well okay so this is japan Tokyo is the capital city of Japan. And remember, Japan is in Asia. And here it is. And it is an island. It's an island because it's surrounded by water. All right. So after we leave, so we're finished with Asia. We're going to go to our last continent now. So we visited every continent on our map. We've been to North America, where we've been to, United, to Canada and Mexico. And we did our U.S. tour. Remember, we went to all the parks. Uh, no. Start of the way. Then after that, we went to South America where we visited Peru, where we learned about the farmers with the potatoes and the coffee beans, the llamas. Then we traveled across the Atlantic and we went to Europe where we were for a while. We went to Europe, right? In Europe, we visited France, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands, uh, England, Norway. These were the countries we visited in Europe, and then after we left Europe, we went to Africa, where we went to Egypt and Kenya. And then from there, we've been in Asia. We went to Israel, India, and China, and now Japan. And now we're gonna go to our last continent, which not only is the continent named this, but the country is also named the same thing, and that is Australia. So let's go back a page to page 98. So we're not done? No, that's what I said. I said we were going to do Japan first because it was, I don't know why the book puts Japan last and it's in the same continent as like the others. So I wanted to do that first before we went to. Uh, oh, now I get it. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the baby right here. Yeah, in the mommy's house. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. All right, so Australia. Australia is the name of the continent. And it's the name of the country. So they have the same exact name, Australia. Now there are cities inside of Australia, like Melbourne, that, that actually have names, but the country, Australia, is the same as the continent, Australia. So Australia is nicknamed the land down under because it's all the way down here, separate from everything else by itself. So it's kind of like an island too, right? Because it's completely surrounded by water, okay? So the cool thing about Australia is that their seasons are their seasons are opposite from our seasons. 
So since we're going into summer right now, guess what they're going into in Australia? Winter. I knew it. Their seasons are opposite from our seasons. And that's because they're on the bottom of the US. So their winter is our summer is their winter and our winter is their summer. So that's something cool about them. So like when we celebrate, like I'm gonna say like Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that, it's cold, but when they do it, it's hot. So, you know, it's just, it's just kind of different. And it's because they're all the way at the bottom of the earth of the map. And so that's why their seasons are completely opposite from ours. So that's just a cool little fact. Um, well, yeah, we're right here. They're down here. See, we couldn't see it. Not... But we both yellow. Well, no, it's it's not about the color. That's just how they colored the map. That's that's not oh. like the important thing. They got you know, they, they got the bad clues in there. Man, yeah, I was gonna talk about that. That's really a bad clue. What's the ill? Me and Kimmy. Okay. Ooh. Black. 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 Thank you. Black. See, so like right now here in. We're in Lafayette. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how the temperature difference. So here in Lafayette, we're at 85 degrees. Can't see it good, but it's 85, so it's hot. It's very hot here, y'all. Our summer has started. I'm already sweating. Okay, and then in Australia, when we go to Australia, not Austin, Australia, Melbourne, it's like the 50s, low 50s, almost 40 degrees. So it's cold there now, but that's because our seasons are opposite. So they're experiencing the cold right now while we are getting the hot, the heat, the summer. So that's just something cool about Australia. And that's because, like I said, they're on the opposite part of the world, land down under, okay? All right, so some of the countries that we visited have been small with many people living in them, but Australia is different. It is really big. There's not many people that live in Australia, not many. There's actually more sheep that live in Australia than people. Yeah, so it's not a lot of people that live in Australia as well. And so in Australia, a cool thing is that a lot of cool animals, unique animals are found in Australia. For example, the platypus, right? Everybody sees the platypus here, okay? It has fur, it has a tail like a beaver, a bill, and web feet like a duck. It's like three animals in one. Like it's like a beaver, a duck, and like some type of like, you know, um, animal that has fur. So it's a really unique animal because they're not anywhere else in the world. Now you could see them in zoos, but they're originally from Australia. Next, the kangaroo, right? Kangaroo, you really unique animal. One of the only animals in the world that has a pot, a pouch. Guess where that's found? Australia. That's where they live freely in Australia. A koala bear, another animal, unique animal, <clears throat> that's also found in Australia. They also have like certain kinds of spiders, certain kinds of snakes that also are only from spiders? Australia. Now, like I said, we can see some of these things in zoos, yes, but they are originally found in Australia. So a cool thing about Australia is that they have a lot of interesting animals, unique animals that are just, you know, Wait, that's it. they're different, Canada very different, Canada. okay? So in Australia, they do speak English. The people are called Australian people. And they do speak English. They just kind of like when we went to England, remember we talked about how they speak like us. They just use different words, right? Australia is the same way. They use different words. They speak English, but some of their wording is different than ours. So like if we say we're going to have a barbecue, they'll say we're going to have a Barbie. See, like a Barbie. they call it a Barbie. We call it a barbecue. If we say that we say a man, they say a bloke. That's what they call a man. A that look. Make yeah, well, to us, but they might say ours don't make sense, but that's how theirs is. Right? We say a friend, they will say their mate. I'll say that's my friend. They'll say that's my mate. So, yeah, they do speak English. They just use some words different than us. Okay? A lot of sports are played in Australia swimming, surfing, diving, sailing, all of this. So, cool, another cool thing about Australia is that there's a lot of sheep stations where it's a sheep ranch where there's like over a thousand sheep and there's a bunch of them. Like I said, there's more sheep in Australia than people, right? 
And so um, they use the wool of these sheep to sell different clothing all over around the world to make blankets, sweaters, jackets, mittens. A lot of wool in the world is found in Australia and they use that wool to make a lot of things to sell in different parts of the world, okay? So that is Australia, the land down under. The continent is the same name as the country. The continent is Australia. The country name is Australia as well, okay? And their flag looks similar to ours. And it looks similar to the England flag, right? Yeah. Because the England flag was just like that, that little small square part. The England flag was just like that, okay? So that is it, guys. That's all of our countries in social studies. We visited every single place that we had remaining. We visited, visited them all. So we are done with our social studies. So this week we'll test on both Japan and Australia. So we have completed social studies. So that's our next thing done. So we're finished with reading, finished with social studies, finished with writing. My We're getting closer and closer to the end. We do have like one full week left. So yeah. All right. So that is it for today, guys. We covered everything, our math, phonics, language, and our social studies. Okay. So y'all have a good day, guys. I'll see y'all on tomorrow. Bye-bye.